Now, the content of Hunter Biden's laptop has been the source of hundreds of articles or even allegations against the 53-year-old one-time financier. His alleged past business dealings in Ukraine and China continue to shadow Joe Biden. Now, a former CIA official has reportedly said that Biden campaign and Blinken orchestrated the Hunter Biden cover-up story. The U.S. State Department is so far silent on the issue. Weeks before the 2020 election that pitted Joe Biden against Donald Trump, the New York Post claimed it had emails and other documents from Hunter Biden's laptop. The emails and documents reportedly implicated Hunter Biden and his father in questionable business dealings with Ukraine while Biden was vice president in 2015. At a 2020 debate, Biden cited a letter from 51 former intelligence officials to claim the laptop story was a Russian disinformation campaign. Former CIA Deputy Michael Morell reportedly told the House Judiciary and Intelligence Committees that Blinken was the impetus for the letter. Remember, Blinken served as a senior advisor in the Biden campaign. Reports say Michael Morell was one of the signatories to the letter and helped organize the letter. The former intelligence officials in the letter reportedly suggested Russian involvement. However, they acknowledged that they did not have any evidence about the letter. Republicans have argued that the letter helped discredit the laptop story just before the election. The House Judiciary and Intelligence Committee has asked Blinken to hand over all documents and communications relating to the letter. The U.S. Secretary of State has been asked to provide the House with the identities of everyone involved in its inception, drafting, editing, signing, publishing, or even promotion. On Friday, the State Department refused to answer questions about the former CIA officials' claim. The spokesperson, Vidant Patel, said the matter is not a State Department issue. Meanwhile, a poll by the Associated Press Knock Center for Public Affairs Research shows that 47% of Democrats want to see Biden seek a second term. Ray Locker is an author, journalist, and also a columnist. He's joining us live from Washington, D.C. Ray, good to see you and welcome to the program. Thanks. Is it easy to say that U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in hot soup following the latest Hunter Biden laptop saga? No. I mean, this story is kind of falling apart anyways. Uh, the initial reports use only incomplete information from the Morrell transcript. Um, that's something that this committee or these Republican-controlled committees have been doing for a long time when they're in charge of the House. They release selectively edited information. It looks bad. And then you find out there's no there there. They've had the Hunter Biden laptop for more than two years. Where's the evidence of anything? Right. There is no evidence. Um, Hunter Biden, Biden has been a drug addict, a troubled guy for a long time. This is somebody as a toddler was in a fatal car accident in which his mom and baby sister were killed. His brother died of a brain tumor. He's kind of a mess. But there's nothing so far that indicates he's a criminal or that any of his activities spill over to Joe Biden when he was vice president or president. Ray, Jim Jordan and company alleged the Biden campaign got former intelligence officials to help suppress the story. What do you make of the latest House GOP's findings? Well, first of all, it comes from Jim Jordan, who hasn't done anything credible in a long time. The man's never had a bill passed in Congress. He's basically a crisis actor. He um, is all for show and nothing really happens. He gets his headlines and then he disappears. Nothing comes of it. So that's what I look at this. I don't think anything's going to come of it. Um, they want to throw a bunch of smoke in the air to discredit Joe Biden. That's mm -hmm their prerogative and it's my prerogative to not believe it until they bring credible evidence to the table which so far they haven't done that's very interesting to note ray what does this mean for president joe biden going forward will it have any effect well, on the upcoming elections and are his opponents likely to use it in their campaigns you know like uh, donald trump and if they do how damaging will that be for biden well, look, he's been president for more than two years. The Republicans have had this laptop for all that time. If they had something truly credible and damaging, we'd know it by now and Biden would be reeling. But he's not. So this right now is a low-grade irritant for him. I mean, he doesn't need the hassle. 
Um, he's 80 years old. He's going to run for re-election. He's going to announce on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I mean, his political fortunes aren't so great. Um, you know that Donald Trump is going to talk about it. But when you talk about corruption and family members in office, look right. at the Trump family. I mean, he didn't recuse himself from anything. He didn't put any of his assets in a blind trust. He was continuing to make money the whole time he was president with side deals. His son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and a daughter, Ivanka, profited immensely while in the White House and afterward from the contacts they made. And we're worried about Hunter Biden and a few hundred thousand dollars he made from the Ukrainian gas company Burisma, which I admit, bad move. You don't want to be doing that. But come on. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Ray Locker, a journalist, thank you very much for your inputs and for talking to We On Wild is One today. Thanks. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.